Classic Ristos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can be a member of the Shannon's Club, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, and Gun Lake Quarries. There's one pinnacle event where vehicles made in the United States rumble through the North Island of New Zealand every year. I'm Fletch and this is Americana 2020. Okay, away we go. This is Wednesday, day one of Americana. The atmosphere is building as hundreds of American classics gather here at TSB Stadium in New Plymouth. The cars are taking off at 10.30 this morning and off to the Americana location of Opanaki Beach, travelling Surf Highway 45. Having just passed the township of Go Check Your Hungy, which is just south of Put a Ring Around Her, we're here at Opanaki Beach. It's time now to go find an American classic car and interview an owner. Time for Maureen now, and Maureen's from the town of Put It Through the Ringer. How are you this afternoon, Maureen? Fletch, I'm great, thank you. That's wonderful. I adore this 62 Monterey. You're here with your partner, Mark. You guys have presented this car beautifully. Tell us a story. Uh, she's a 1962 Ford Mercury Monterey. Uh, we bought her off somebody who had brought her into Auckland that had been owned by one family um, in the States. Um, he was a doctor, had it custom made for him. He's got that extra spotlight so that when he went to do night visits... That's what you need when you do the night visits. You need that extra spotlight. You just do, don't you? Yep, to look at the letterboxes to make sure you're at the right property. Oh, how cool is that? And Maureen, the thing with this car, although it's been painted on the outside, you've got this incredible original interior which just screams the era, uh, complemented by that beautiful dashboard, something almost out of the Thunderbirds, that aluminium style dash, which is just so period correct as well. And that's what we loved about her. We wanted something that was original, that there wasn't a lot of, um, that it was just a little bit different and um, to, to era and period. Now Maureen, I've been told by Mark 
Maureen's partner chooses to sit and watch. He doesn't want the camera exposure, but we'll get him later. Um, now, Maureen, you know a bit about the car. Tell us about the engine and the driveline. She's a 352FE original, as far as I'm aware. Maureen, being a two-door car as well, there's just so much opulence and class with this car. How does it make you feel when you drive it? Love it. Love her. And she's pillarless, so um, she's special. Yeah. I love around the back too, the tail lights, how they're concealed in the, in the tops of the rear quarter. Of it. That's a style all on its own as well, isn't it? Oh, look, everything about her is just style. Um, I think there was only about 4,500 of them made yeah. in that one year. Yeah. Um, and as far as we know, there's only four registered Mercury Monterey's in New Zealand. We've got two of them, this one and a four-door that Mark is actually restoring. Unbelievable. You might as well be in the United States of America being here at Americana. Seriously, it is the only country on the outside of the States that just seems to have the quantity, and not just the quantity, but also the quality of American vehicles. You've certainly depicted that today, Maureen. Thank you so much for, uh, for the interview and being a part of this uh, special event. Thank you. Thanks, Fletch. Loving every minute of it. My life is hot rods, designing them, building them, and racing. If you're into rods or customs, you'll know what I mean. It's all about passion, purity, and soul. Customs and hot rods, like the SoCal Roadster, is what we do. And insurance for cars like ours is what Shannon's do. Rods, customs, and even your daily drive. Call Shannon's on 134646. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Like us. In 2020, why not consider a Detroit tour with Fletch? Detroit, the automotive epicenter. It will leave you gobsmacked. Imagine experiencing where automotive history on a grand scale began. Stay in fine accommodation, taking in some of the best museums and private car collections on the planet. Book your 2020 Detroit tour with Fletch. And if you own a classic, make sure that it's insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646. And if you haven't checked out the Shannon's Club, there's a whole heap of really cool productions there awaiting you, such as Shannon's Club TV, Legends of Motorsport, Driven, and End of an Era. Of course, there's over 320 episodes of Classic Restos there as well. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Well, this is Thursday, day two of Americana, and the event is getting greater and greater as more and more entrants start rolling in. cruise destinations today. Everybody's gathering and getting ready for a drive and a park up at Whitera and then later this afternoon at Inglewood. Well here we are again, um, 2020, another Americana. Thankfully uh, the weather gods are on, their, on our side today. A little bit of rain yesterday. The country's been extremely dry and um, you know Aussies had a lot of help from, from New Zealand firefighters and our thoughts and good wishes for the people that have lost their homes and everything else that's going on. So New Zealand's pretty dry too. So the rain yesterday was a bit of a, uh, we don't want it at a car event. But Fletch, look, it's great to have you back. Uh, we love having you here. You do a great job. We like the Australians and other people who watch your show around the world, seeing what we do here in New Zealand with Americana. It's all about a celebration of the American vehicles and the American culture. Shortly, uh, we'll get this interview done because there's 160 cars leaving to visit it and they all break up into different groups and go and visit all the rest homes. A lot of the entrants will take people for a ride, so that's a pretty special part of the event we've been doing for a few years now that the rest homes look forward to. Um, we've got some country people from Australia here. Um, guys got a collection of cars and he heard about Americana. Some of his wife would come over to enjoy the week, so we've got them in a car today and tomorrow and they're pretty excited. So yeah, all in all, it's just Americana as usual and we'd love to see more Australians come and, come and join us. We've got plenty of cars we can put you in. So yeah, 2021, our friends in Australia and around the globe, we'd love to see you here. We'd make you more than uh, welcome. All the entrants would be... Um, now you can buy a t-shirt in New Zealand, I'm sure you can buy the same t-shirt in Australia and it says, 
I support New Zealand and anyone who plays against Australia, but when it comes to our love affair of cars and supporting each other in time of need, we're brothers in arms, so come over and be, be part of 2021 with us. Time now for one of the smallest American cars I think I've ever seen. How are you, Pat? I'm very well, flat, thank you. That is good. A 1938 Bantam, right? That's right, the American Bantam. Wow, an American car this small. I know that Nash went down the road uh, in the 50s of making a, a small metro, yes. metropolitan type vehicle. I'd like you to tell us a little bit about the history, but before you do, someone's told me that you've had this for something like 136 <laughs> years or something. <laughs> Not quite flats, uh, what, what, what's but the, I haven't owned it that long. What's actually. the story there, Pat? Well, I, I bought it in, in Nelson in 1955 when I was 17 years old car was 17 years old at the same time, it's a bit of a coincidence. It was actually come out of the factory a, a month after I was born. It's, you know, it's exactly the same age as me, you might say, but, but I don't lay claim to the fame of, of any of the restoration work. At the present time, I'm just the custodian. Uh, another chap did a chap by the name of Ivan Gardner from Wellington. He restored it from a wreck over three decades, from 1972 to 2002. And uh, I, all I did was help with a few photographs. Uh, he was the one that deserves all the credit for its condition. Pat, it's a beautiful story. Uh, uh, you've, well, you've virtually had the car all your life. It, it, the, the emotion must run very deep with you in this vehicle. When we think of American cars, they're usually larger than this. Um, That's right. you've, you've kept this small car for a good reason. What, what, is some, what are some of those reasons? Well, the thing is, it's, it's the... Uh, the uniqueness of it, Fletch. I, when I, I was a apprentice boy in Nelson in 1955, in the main street there was a car sales who had this displayed down the back. And uh, it was the only car in the yard that took my eye. And, I, and having an eye for the unusual items, I had to, had to buy it. Yeah. And I was only on apprentice boy wages. And I, I managed. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a real credit to you. And looking <laughs> looking around uh, this type of car, th there's no rough edges here. Uh, it seems a, a very well built little car as well. I mean, I, I like the lines, uh, just the way that it, uh, the gaps are with the with the panels. Um, it's a it's a real trick little unit. It looks like yes. a really small Buick or something. Yeah, it does. It does. It has the styling of the period. I find and uh, I feel. Pat, tell us, what powers this car? Oh, it's just very, very small amount of power available. <laughs> it goes good along the flats and moderate rises, good downhill. On the, on the hills, it really kills it. It's only, what, 800 cc, 850 cc, it's about 45 cubic inches flat. So yeah. in, in terms of uh, relevance to the, uh, the British cars of the same derivative, um, similar power? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's based on the Austin 7. Yeah. I was Austin 7. Wow. You're having fun with the car. You're here yes. for Americana, which I think is wonderful. Uh, as I said earlier, one of the, the, the smallest uh, American cars here, but one of uh, one of the oldest here for Americana. And uh, yeah, well, you're living the dream, Pat, aren't you? I'm living the dream, that's for sure, Fletch. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. lovely meeting right. up with you. You too, thank and, you very much. And uh, <laughs> enjoy enjoy the Bantam for yeah. the rest of this event. Thank you for your interest, Fletch. You're welcome. Yeah, great. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Pat. Okay. Are you a motoring enthusiast? Does your current insurer understand your passion? At Shannon's, we're motoring enthusiasts, just like you. We understand the passion you have for your special car or bike. But did you know that Shannon's will also insure your daily drive, the car you drive every day? So if you're a motoring enthusiast, you've got to be with Shannon's. So call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools. 
sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. A very special car that turns up and the owner to Americana every year is the 1978 Plymouth Fury 440. How are you doing, Cole? Good, thanks, Fletch. Yourself? Good, mate. Good to see you back again. It's good to be here. <laughs> you play an integral part here every year. You never miss an Americana. The State Trooper car just stands out. It gets a fantastic response everywhere it goes. But what I love about this, apart from the car, is the unique story that comes with it. you want to share that? I found it... I'd never found this one online, but the guy we bought it off had another one online, an American police car. I missed out on the sale. Long story short, it went on for two weeks. He sent me an email and said that he would sell this one. And that's how we got onto it, and we didn't realise how special it was until it actually arrived in New Zealand. Tell us a story about the retiring police officer that drove this actual car. Yep, the officer that was, the trooper that was issued this car in 78 knew was retiring when this was getting decommissioned and he had done 40 years of service and he asked the state of Minnesota if he could buy the car and they said yes you can and he bought it for one dollar. Just as a paper entry to get it through. <laughs> yeah. But in the state of Minnesota, right? Yeah, in the state of Minnesota. This car was in St. Paul in Minnesota yeah. and his name was Sergeant Dan Brunette. A typical life of a police car to be flogged. It just goes to show how much this car was, was looked after. Uh, he must have really admired this car to the point where he loved it so much. Obviously, well, he wanted to. He wanted to buy it when he left. He, he must have been very attached to this particular car. Yeah, dead right, Flex. Well, that's what we pick up from it. Yeah, and the fact that the car that he got the car off the state, it was never stripped. So all the light bar, the sirens, everything are original. <laughs> And, uh, and in America, that's unheard of. All the gear under the dashboard, uh, what's the story with all that, te yeah, all that technical all gear there? there. It's, yeah. it's all how it should be. I think one radio doesn't work, and it's got a scanner in it that it shouldn't have, but it was in it when we got it, so we just left it in there. Now, the Plymouth Fury, uh, mentioning the interior, still has the shield up um, to protect the driver from the, the crooks in the back, yep. and you've the brocade trim, the seats are in remarkable condition, Cole. Yep, they are. And we've found out since I've joined a club that of police car owners and still now in America state troopers can spec their own cars. And that's why they have velour upholstery and carpet, whereas a normal police car just has rubber mats, vinyl seat, that's it. That's the end of it. Now, moving through to the go-go department now, by 1978 a lot of the power dropped away. We had different camshafts, we had lower compressions. All that aside, running the 440, how does it go? It goes okay. It's an old whale. Um, <laughs> Was well, certified when they were new to do 132 and 140 without the light bar. Wow, eight miles an hour, Rob yeah. by the light bar. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it would still do it. Little items that we see, we've got the dog dish hubcaps drilled. Now that's always been a fascinating thing to me because I don't know what heat from the brakes is around the wheel nuts, but hey, there must exactly. be there must be some sort of theory in that. Yep, and apparently those hubcaps are actually getting quite rare. This is just so cool. Police nudge bar out front as well to do yep. the, uh, they've got a name for that, the highway manoeuvre. Well, basically, it, just, it, just, like that, it yeah. just shunts people off the road. That's yeah. what it does. <laughs> Cole, just want to thank you once again, mate. Great to catch up. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you're a big part of Americana every year. And this is a special car. It is so unique. It is not a replica. It's it's a it's dinky die. It is. It is. <laughs> yep. And um, what, a, what a traditional car to own, mate. Are you having a drive around town tomorrow night? Well, it might. All right, then. You're on. There you go. Fletch, Fletch gets in the hot seat. Good on you, Cole. <laughs> Thanks, Fletch. Good to see you again, mate. You too. Cheers, mate. Well, that's it for the Americana Park up here in Waitra. And now it's time for over 700 American classics to make our way through to the next township of Inglewood.
Frank, how good was the Inglewood Park up this afternoon? Man, it was good. They had a top Elvis. You were having a ball, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, we had a ball. She yeah. Had a ball. I love this car, 1964 Buick Convertible. Uh, this has got a unique story as well, right? Yeah. Well, this is a 1964 Buick Electra. Now it's done 37,000 miles from new. It's, and, ne uh, it's nearly ready for its second service, Frank. Oh, it's never had a never had a spanner on the head. Totally original radiator. Everything's original right through. I put a new set of tyres on it, and, and uh, so where did you find this? Oh, I've got a I've got a friend in America, and his name's Frank as well. There, so you, there go. you go. Yeah, you and can't uh, get each other's name mixed up, right? No. And he said uh, <laughs> he said it's red. It's red. I said, oh, probably it'll need respraying because red fades. This is totally original paint. And uh, he said, no, it's, he said, I painted the back mudguard because it's a bit long and I put a dent in it and I painted the hood, as he called it. Yep, yep. And otherwise, it's totally original, the paint, yeah. It's, uh, it looks like a baked enamel. It's a beautiful paint. Well, I don't know what it is. We've only, we've never cut and polished it. All I've done is given it a bit of a wax. The mother's uh, fleet wash. And so, well, what was the situation? Did it, did it did it have mice in it, or did it have any straw or bales of hay in it? What's the situation there, uh, Frank? The paint looked a bit flat, and I just mm. give it a wax with mothers, and it that just was, come up. And uh, otherwise, it's totally original. Okay, we look at this car. Uh, the the side profile of this car is absolutely stunning all day long. Um, it's got a beautiful long rear quarter, being obviously a two door car as well. Yeah, that yeah. accentuates that rear quarter, yeah, yeah. which is fantastic. The push on wheel covers. The original wheel covers, yes. they've never scraped a curb. They look sensational. Yes. Oh, that's very uh, good. Thank you very I, much. I just think that the wheel covers are a good telltale sign yeah, as to how they were driven yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh, no, it was loved by a, a person that's got, a, had a collection of cars. Yeah. He's a friend of mine and he sent it over yeah. without even looking at it. Oh, you've done well. The interior. How good is that? Well, you, I mean, obviously we can tell that you use the car, which is great. We use it, um, yeah. there, There's just usable signs yeah. on the on yes, the leather, yeah, but yeah, yeah. but it's still beautiful. Yes, it's got its original uh, convertible top. If three upholsters told yeah. it's totally original. It's yep. not like, and uh, the upholstery on the back. If you look at the back seat, it's. Uh, Looks like it's never been set in, but where you sit, it looks like it's been set because I use my cars. Which Unbelievable. Is, when we're finished, I, someone else can take it over. Absolutely. And the dashboard, Frank, looking at that dashboard, isn't that absolutely, it's a work of art, isn't oh, it's, it? It's, it's like a almost a toy car. Now, what powers it up front under the hood? It's a 430 Wildcat motor, yeah. Yeah, the old nail head? Yeah, nail head. Yeah, yeah. It, what, a, what a superb engine <coughs> uh, that, that Buick built. They always built a great when car. When they come out with a Wildcat at this year, they put it on a NASCAR track, did 10,000 miles in 5,500 minutes. It averaged 120 mile an hour for 10,000 miles. That's, that's where the tyre changes, wheel, that's, or whatever. That's 200 kilometres an hour for the digitally educated. Yeah. That's well, not, not bad going for 1964, is it? OK, yeah. no, that's right. All right, let you get back to it, Frank. Uh, lovely meeting up with you, and uh, you're wearing the, uh, the, the Americana shirt as well, with the American flags and stars on there. You're having a ball, aren't Good you? Good on your flitch. Yeah? Come on. Right on, mate. Good Thanks. You, Cheers, mate. Bye. Well, I hope you've enjoyed just some of part one of Americana for 2020 on this week's episode of Classic Restos. Part two will be on next week's show. In the meantime, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, where you can be a member of the Shannon's Club, Pace Farm, the Enjoyable Egg, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, and Gun Lake Quarries.